Hi guys, I will show you in this video how to buy custom domain and connect it to Shopify. So, I will be doing it as I go, so please bear with me if there will be some delays. Basically, I recommend using Namecheap. Uh, they offer quite uh, quite affordable domains and um, management is pretty straightforward. So this is the home page. If you want to buy your domain, just put uh, your business name here and see if it's available. My business name, for example, and press search. And let's see what kind of extensions are available. If you are based in the US, I recommend Picking.com. Uh, I don't recommend picking any of those fancy names because they just don't build your credibility, although they are more, quite cheap, like 79p per year. Uh, I don't recommend using them for business, so uh, keep searching until you find a domain that has got .com, uh, .com extension. So uh, we haven't found it, so you can you can add modifications to your domain. Try again. Domain name search. And let's see, let's go a little bit specific. Okay, where are we? Um, and search. Specific domain search.com. Okay, it's not available.com. But basically, um, I won't, um, I won't obviously take time during the video. But you know what, um, what I mean. Just, just uh, uh, if if dot com will be available, you will be you will be able to see it at the top. Oh, there it is. Specific domain search twenty nineteen dot com. That's good. So you can add to cart, and then complete your purchase. I won't be buying it, but I will go as you know, as far as probably the um the payment goes. The payment, payment stage. So you can pick one year, two years, and so on. So the price will update. Okay, so it's like seventeen pound for a year. It doesn't really it doesn't really um add up because it was like seven pound for no seventeen pound for two years, so it doesn't make sense because it was seven pound for a year. Who is a guard? So privacy protection. Mm, it is free, it is a free add-on. I do not recommend adding it because it definitely affects your um your score, your SEO, and in, in the article I explain why. And uh, so I won't be adding it. There's no there's no need to pay for that because with G Suite you can pay monthly, I believe it is um, ten dollar per month, so it works out as uh, I don't know, hundred, yeah, hundred twenty. So I suppose, yeah, it's a little bit cheaper if you want to buy a pay for a year, and then I don't think you need anything. If you haven't got SSL, definitely do add it for your for your web for your domain. I think SSL is bought for the domain, so definitely do add it because it you will you will need it anyway. So here you can put your details and input the pay with PayPal or pay with pay with the card. Now, when the payment is completed, you will see the domain in your domain list. So these are the domains that I that uh, that I currently have. And managing is very very easy. So you go to Namecheap dashboard, and if you want to transfer domain to Shopify, basically click on Manage next to the domain and name you want to transfer. And I'll show you. I'll show you what goes next. Now I'm not sure if it's sharing and transfer or advanced DNS because advanced DNS definitely is the place to go. But maybe they've got some um, better way right now. Okay, let me go to the 
Shopify guide that will actually tell me what to do. So um, when you want to connect custom domain to your Shopify store, you've got two different sections and the URL is in the article, two different sections. You have a section to transfer your domain and a section to connect your domain. And the difference is that when you transfer the domain, you basically tell Shopify that it can host your domain name. So there's no point for us to host host domain with Shopify if we have just purchased it through Namecheap. So what we want to do is connect my domain to Shopify. So connecting existing domain and I'm going to click the link and then connect. Okay, now we go. So, what to tell your third party provider? Okay, so there we go. You have to check, uh, change the DNS CAC name records. So, definitely go to, to Namechip, Advanced DNS. And what you want to do. Choose the honest template. Shopify. Okay, perfect. So there are two points, so you have to pick this one. Add a new record. I'm not sure what this is, but let's let's pick it. You want to you want your root domain a record to point to Shopify IP address and you want your subdomain Point to okay, let's copy this number and then root domain a record. Where are we? Add a new record, a record. Um, I believe it's automatic IP address. What's the host? What is the host of Shopify? Point to Shopify IP address. Okay, I'm not sure what is the host. Mm, let's leave it for now. Um, unless there will be more detailed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Shop unless there will be detailed Namecheap. There we go. There is a detailed guide for Namecheap. I'll just click the link and it will take me to the detailed connection. Okay, there we go. It's step by step. Right, advanced DNS, add new record, I record. Okay, so this is the one that I need. Okay, it's automatic. Yeah, it is automatic, I believe. No. Simply leave it automatic and save changes. There we go. I think we'll need a record about 30 minutes. Okay, I believe I'll need another another value which is this one C name so add new value C name okay it will be here target shops my shop file let me just check what kind of host to put here so it will be explained 
will be explained in this guide. So just host. No. Okay. Type a card from draw the menu, enter the value that you receive. Okay, I think it's www. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's all that's needed if um if there's anything that is of um is missing or not set up properly obviously you can contact name trip uh, they say it takes about 30 um, 30 minutes for for the domain to be transferred but obviously if there are any issues you can contact them there they will be able to probably through chat they will be able to guide you but i just wanted to check Again, if uh, if I wanted to connect the main through the Shopify dashboard, will they be directing me to the guide most probably? But I just wanted to check it. Okay, uh, where are the so uninstall preferences? Ah, oh, there we go, the mains. I won't be able to do it again. Just just check if I can do it here. What they will tell me, probably guide me to um, to the article. So you want to connect, not, yeah, via a view name champ instruction. So basically it takes you to the same article. So this is how you connect a domain, as I mentioned. The articles, the links to the articles are, um, are in the in the post so you will be able to check it again but i hope this video um, helped you in visualizing what to put and how to find the place where you um to to amend your dns settings of the domain thank you so much for your time Bye bye